Hey everybody, so this is the look we're doing today. It's very pretty. It's using my um, new Wet n Wild palette in Lest. And I use the, um, let me open it for you guys. I use the matte side right here. And um, really excited about this. So if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eye with my e.l.f. eye primer in Pearl, and um, now I'm going to take um, my, oops, here it is, sorry, I'm going to take my um, Wet n Wild Color Icons with Pencil in Pixie, looks like that, and I'm just going to apply that into my inner third of my eye. as a second base and then I'm going to take my um, NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Rust right there, and I'm going to apply that to the to the last two thirds of my eye and I'm just going to blend that with my ring finger all together Now I'm going to take my um my lust palette, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna take that color right there and I'm going to apply it on top of um the pixie that pixie color we applied. I'm just gonna pack it on. I know my camera's showing it more of like a white color. But it's actually like a light pink color. It's just my camera sucks. <laughs> but um, sorry. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take um this purple color, which is showing up the wrong purple. Like I said, that camera sucks. That's kind of more the purple it is. I don't know. It's like a burgundy-ish purple color. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to apply that to the middle, overlapping the pink a little just to blend the two colors together. Like that. Just like that, and I'll apply a little bit more. Last, I'm going to take this color right here, this dark purple color, and I'm going to apply that on the last little corner of my eye, and yeah, just like that. Ooh, ah. Okay, now I'm going to take a small tapered blending brush like this. Ooh. And I'm going to take that dark purple color that we just had and apply it into my crease. Just slowly building up the color. I'm sorry, I hope you can. I'm sorry. Working with a different angle today, trying to see how it comes out. So you guys tell me if you like this better than showing both the eyes or, you know, whatever. I'm trying to get better with my editing skills and all that jazz. Okay, so now I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this. Focus on the fluffy brush. Okay, it just doesn't want to focus on the fluffy brush. That's cool. <laughs> and I'm going to take that um, first color that we put down. I'm going to use that as my highlight. Or one of my highlights, I should say. And then kind of blend it into the crease color that we just applied. And I know it looks probably looks really light. 
on the camera, but it's, I'm telling you, it's not that light. It's really not. The camera is just really, I don't know, I gotta work with the lighting a little bit. So we're pretty much done with the palette. And now I'm going to take a, um, a brown color, just a skin, like a, kind of a mid-tone brown for me and I'm going to just apply that in between my highlight and the crease color okay there we go and then I'm going to take that small little blending brush again and I'm going to apply a little highlight, like a shimmery highlight, right underneath my brow bone. I mean my um, arch, I'm sorry, I always say brow bone. And I mean arch. So just right there. Next, I'm going to take my um, NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to apply that to my tear duct area, just a little bit like that. Then I'm going to take a different blending brush, like this, and I'm going to just use that to buff out the color a little bit. And then I'm going to take a, um, kind of a matte color to apply in the inner corner. Just a kind of like a, a tan-ish color. Okay, so there we go. And I'm just gonna wipe a little bit off at the bottom. A wet wipe, clean that up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take my Ruby Kisses 24-7 eyeliner. Uh, oops. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> um, there we go. 24-7. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. 24-7 eye define. And I'm going to line my waterline. Oops. Then I'm going to take my um, little eyeliner gel, it says NARS, but it's not NARS, that I got from um, eBay, and I'm going to take a little art liner brush like this. Oh. There we go. And I'm just going to use that to apply the gel liner on my tear duct area, I mean my bottom water line. Okay, there we go, and that's it for the eyes, and I will come back and show you guys the finished look after I apply my mascara and lashes. Okay guys, I'm back to show you what I use um, on my cheeks and my lips. Um, I use my e.l.f. blush, my favorite, my baby, in Blushing Rose. Right there, my baby. I love this color. It's my first my baby on my lips I used my wet n wild lipstick in um, breeze and then on top of that I put on um, my NYX hyper shine gloss but that's what it's called in frosted beige and that's it this is the completed look I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I know it's kind of like a uh, bad quality right now the Sun has obviously gone down it's um, yeah, I waited a little too late <laughs> to, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I waited a little too late to actually record. So, um, yeah, I really, really, really do love this, upside down, love this palette. Um, and 
I plan on doing the other three and then doing the other deadly sins, the other four deadly sins that um are there. I think yeah, there's seven deadly sins, and I have three palettes that are deadly sins. And then if I, they don't have any other, sorry, if they don't have any other palettes that are the seven deadly sins, then I'll just make up things for them. If that makes sense. Anyway, really love lust. Um, I might do like this is the matte lust, and then maybe I'll do the shimmery lust, and then yeah. So this is the matte lust look, and um, yeah. So I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.